yeah I'll close this and I'll just show you how to run the code real quick they have it somewhere it's, it's on their github I believe I mean I have the code written anyway so so I have an example code right here so uh, we'll go to live main dart and so they import the package right and then they have a string for barcode have a material button yeah we'll use material button oh well that's cool and then um, on press they call the scan function so uh, it's basically a feature function so yeah we'll just copy this whole thing and <laughs> thought I had to do something else for this to work I'm not sure but we'll just start working on this all right so um, let's go back to <laughs> I'll start working out anyways before I can test it so all right so we're in Mott, we've imported a package we can just copy their code so um, you don't have to copy new you can but it's not really necessary I'll copy the comma at the end but yeah uh, we'll do scan we'll put it above the van text field I guess so it's just the material button so what I missed something I missed a lot of stuff. Oh, so this padding part is from the container. So I just copy an extra thing right there. So anyways. Matter of fact, I'll just write it. <laughs> okay. Um, on press, they call it scan, so which we don't have yet um, oh we'll add this child too so just copy the scan code and I'll run it on my actual device real quick and I'll record uh, where should I put this I'll put a under any state so that should work so platform reception is uh, I'm not sure it's from a sync class or services I guess I thought we had a sync already in here yeah so it's for from services we'll fill that little spot in <laughs> see if that error went away So yeah, okay, so we just need this barcode. So we'll do string barcode, which I'll just make it an empty string. Did I forget the, nope, I didn't. Oh, it doesn't like it. Where did I copy it at? Oh, okay, yeah. So. Well, it has to be in there because. Oh, okay. Let's copy it in the build function. That's what it. Uh, 
Wait, okay. <laughs> so we did have it right, so I just had an extra uh closing bracket. So that should be fine. So now that should work. Let me see if it prints out the bin. Sparkling. I'll just print it right here. Barcode is barcode. Which this dot barcode. Well, wait, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. So I'll test this on my device real quick. Um, I think my iPhone is dead, so I need to charge that up. And record it and show you because that would be better actually because you can record it directly with QuickTime. But because I'm on a Mac, so but I'll screen record it on my Android device as well. So that's my main device. Let's see. Okay. So we're. Um, so while I'm waiting for this to build, it looks like it's going to build pretty fast. Do I have the other, let me make sure I don't have anything else open. That'll, that don't need, I have all these tabs open. That don't need, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, um, after we get the barcode, we'll basically call fetch fin info from here. And we can just copy the same code and on press. We can make a function really. Should have just made that a function so we can call it instead of copying the code. Really, that's what I want to do with all of these uh, HTTP requests. So. So I'll do that. I'll let it build first, and then I'll do that. I'll put this in a function. Wait, this is not. I meant the event stuff in the function. So yeah. So I'll skip all of this extra stuff and let it uh, go straight to the part where it builds. Man, this is taking a while, so. Uh. Let me see what the weather's going to be like tomorrow. Sunday already almost. All right, so it's ready. Mm. Oh man, I'm tired. Okay. Yeah. I need to add elevation to the scan button or something because I don't like that really. Oh, we need to scan barcode, so. We need a barcode to scan, so I found one before, but uh, then barcode. I can test it on. We need a real barcode, so <laughs> oh, I don't know if we can read that. I think I used this Porsche one before, so I'll try that out. Click scan. Let's 
So it requests permissions. Um, it asks if I want to use my camera. And then I scan the <laughs> barcode. Let's take a look. So WPOAA294B. So that's what you see right here. I guess this is the full one. They don't have everything. So we'll just put this in a function. And all of this in a function. So let me add a space so I know where it's at. Okay. So I'll put all of this in a function real quick. So just a feature. So feature void um, get bin info, I guess. So yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we'll pass bin text. So Uh, we'll, we'll return. No, I don't want to return anything. I just want to get rid of the ugly air. So, or the <laughs> the complaint they had, whatever. You don't actually need to do that, but so um, get vent info. So we'll pass the vent text. So we'll just use that same code right here with the scan. Pass the barcode. Okay, so you won't be able to see it, but I'll rerun this <laughs> um, and let you see it. So I'll leave a link to this um, picture so you can scan it as well. Uh, looks like it's actually on GitHub. So <laughs> somebody was using something probably another scanning app to do it anyways I already scan this yep Porsche 911 so that's the, what the vehicle is uh, it should show the data right here Porsche 911 yep so that worked so um Next, we'll style this video up and it's rerunning the app for some reason. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I accidentally clicked. I have um, my Mac. I have this Mac MacBook Pro that has the touch bar and I accidentally press run again on the touch bar. Honestly, never use it. I forget it's there half the time, but. Um, So yeah, how can we make this better? Let me just show it on the iPhone 11 Pro. Okay, so that's how it looks. See, the button, <laughs> I believe you can add elevation to this. So That's why I think I like using raise buttons because you can actually see it, but whatever. Um, probably need to add a background color, a color to the scan button or something. But this is fine for now, so. Uh, so yeah, that works. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. So I'll style this up a little bit better. And um, yeah, that's all really for this series, I guess. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus a little more on Android and iOS, native Android and iOS, but I'm also, I'm still going to make Flutter videos, so, but maybe not a whole series, I don't know, maybe, I don't know yet, really, I don't know where I want to go yet next with Flutter, so, um, but I'm still going to upload Flutter videos almost every day, so, um, yeah, that's it for now.
So um, next we'll style this up. Thank you for watching. All right, so we'll demonstrate the scanning. So I'll just click scan. I'll hit scan, and then I'll scan this barcode. Right, and you see auto populate um, the Porsche and, or the make and model, so it's a Porsche 911. All right, and I'll leave a link to that. Uh, then barcode in the description. Thanks.